Now, the Princess of Wales' uncle, Gary Goldsmith, is rumoured to be joining the cast of Celebrity Big Brother tonight. The outspoken businessman has infuriated the family and an insider has told The Sun that Kate's mother, Carol Middleton, has already read her wayward brother, The Riot Act. A black sheep embroiled in abuse, alcohol and drug scandals, his rumoured appearance would have the royal family very nervously watching on. Uh, we've got hold of former royal correspondent Michael Cole to discuss exactly what the top lines might be. Michael, very good evening to you. Welcome uh, to the Independent Republic of Mike Graham once more. Um, I can't imagine that you would be regularly tuning in to Celebrity Big Brother, uh, even though the lovely Sharon Osbourne is going to be on it. But um, I guess we'll find out if he's going to be there or not, this guy. Yeah. Uh, good evening, Michael. Yes, the, uh, an expectant world has to wait, well, less than half an hour to see naughty Uncle Gary entering the celebrity Big Brother house. And we have to say, why is he there? He's there because his niece, Catherine, Princess of Wales, may one day become our next queen. Uh, why is he not there? Well, he's not there for his scintillating personality <laughs> or for his sparkling conversation. He's there in the hope that he says something indiscreet or revealing or controversial uh, about the Prince and Princess of Wales or the royal family. And Uncle Gary, who we see there going to court after he attacked, and there's dear Princess of Wales, Catherine, in happier times. Her uncle uh, has been a bit of a problem child. He's a, a classic black sheep. As I say, he was going into court there because he'd uh, assaulted his wife, I mm. should say his fourth wife. And for that, he was fined £5,000 and put on community service. And there have been other stories about drug fueled parties in Ibiza, where he lived for some years. It might be said that uh, Prince William and Catherine did, in fact, go to see him in Ibiza for a holiday. Uh, that I think that was before Prince George was born. So uh, there is, uh, you know, the problem relative. We, uh, we've all had them. Uh, and is, this the, is, his, this the, uh, is this the place in Ibiza which is supposedly known as Chateau Bang Bang? <laughs> well, I think that's great because the. But you know more about them than I would. I've never been to Ibiza. I've been to the other Balearic Islands, but not there. It's for people a little bit younger than me. But here are Gary is going in there. And as you mentioned, it's said that Sharon Osborne is getting £100,000 a day. Well, over three weeks, mm. I think that adds up to something more than £3 million. Whether Gary needs the money or whether that's his motivation, but he's certainly going in. And you can see uh, what it is that the uh, ITV wants to get out of it. I mean, there are enormous sums to be made. I must just tell you, Mike, that uh, uh, 25, 26 years ago, uh, I was invited to go on Celebrity Big Brother. And even all those years ago, and I was well down the pecking order, I was offered £40,000 to go off to Australia yeah. and eat bugs in the jungle. And I found it a, a very resistible idea. <laughs> so money is to be made. It is a perhaps a cynical uh, exercise on both sides, mm. the television company and the participants. But it is a, a serious matter in the sense that uh, I'm sure it's a distraction and an annoyance for Catherine, who, as we know, is making a, a, a slow, but I hope entirely successful yes. recovery from uh, abdominal uh, surgery. Well, one would hope as well that um, the signs that uh, it looks as though Camilla and possibly King Charles as well are going off somewhere for a small short break, de depending on who you speak to. I don't know exactly where it would be. But at least that would suggest, would it not, that, that Kate's recovery is going well and that Charles's treatment is, is also similarly going all right? Yeah, well, I think uh, Camilla, Queen Camilla, Her Majesty Queen Camilla, I think she will probably spend some time down at Ray Mill, her house in Wiltshire. It's interesting that both of them travelled yesterday in a westerly direction down the M4. He went to Highgrove, his house, and, yeah. and she went to her house not far away because she wants to spend time with her families and there we see her uh, doing her job and very brilliantly recently with mm. some schoolgirls there and uh, she it's not that uh, the king doesn't like her grandchildren but he has to keep himself away from other people during cancer care and treatment that he's uh, undergoing at the moment best to avoid any uh, infection which can come in from people uh, from 
outside the immediate family circle. I, I'm wondering if she'll go abroad in the past. She's been to, I think, a spa in Italy for a short break. Maybe, you know, Italy isn't terribly warm at this time of year, particularly up in the mountains. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I have to tell you, Mike, that uh, the Queen doesn't ring me up and ask for my holiday advice when she's going on trips, or else I would have said to her, just stay at home and keep warm. Yeah, or up to Scotland for a bit of, um, you know, salmon fishing or something like that, something similar. <laughs> and what about Princess Anne and Prince Edward? They appear to be now given a sort of new lease of life, if you like. I know Princess Anne has always been working terribly, terribly hard, but, you know, it looks as though they're going to have to do even more now. Yeah, they're stepping forward, the ever-loyal Anne, uh, into the breach, and Prince Edward, now uh, the Duke of Edinburgh. Of course, uh, you know, at the moment, uh, the king wanted to slim down royal family. I don't think he could have foreseen when he said that, uh, that things would be quite so threadbare as it is at the moment. Let, if you look at the quarter deck of the ship of state, the ship of state is moving forward, but there are hardly any officers uh, mm. left on, on the bridge. Your no. favourite people, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they're, they're in self-imposed exile uh, in, in California. Uh, Prince Andrew is banned from uh, public life. Uh, and uh, all the, the number of people who should be taking up the strain. And Prince William, of course, it falls on his shoulders. But at the same time, he's looking after his wife. And he's caring for his three children, and that's always a handful. If anybody who's had any children can know, uh, even if you're even if you're a prince of the royal blood, sure. uh, there's plenty of work to do. No, exactly right. Just one quick one to finish up with. There was some report late this afternoon, early this evening, that there was a, uh, a spotting of, of, of Kate, that she may or may not have been seen being driven around the Windsor Estate in a car. Um, we haven't been able to confirm whether it's true. Um, I don't know whether you've heard anything on that front. I, I haven't, but they took great pains when she left the London clinic uh, that she would not be seen. Uh, that was quite a good countering trick. She did disappear. And, of course, since that time, she's been at Adelaide Cottage in Windsor Great Park, but she's also been up to uh, Anne Hall, their house on the Sandringham Estate. So she's ambulatory. She's not housebound. She's been around. And I think if that is true and she's had a ride around, why not? It was a completely human uh, natural reaction to want to see the outside air and the life you used to have for a while while you're recovering and recuperating. And I might say that on your behalf and at mine and all the viewers, we do wish her uh, a speedy and prompt re recovery. And uh, we hope that that will be uh, the other side of, of Easter or whenever she feels that she's ready again to face us. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much indeed, Michael Cole there.